Molly's Holly. Written and narrated by Sean Gannon. It was Christmas time on the island of Sodor, and the and all the engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway were busier than ever. They were looking forward to having this year's carol party to be an extra special celebration. One evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. He had some very special jobs for them all. Tomorrow night is the night of the great Christmas party at the big station, he said. I, I want you all to work as hard as possible before the big event. Richard, you'll be helping James and Percy delivering their letters and parcels across the island. Gordon, you will bring the mayor. Thomas, you will go and fetch the Christmas tree. Daisy will look after Annie and Clarabel while you're away. And Molly, you'll go and pick up some carolers on their special train from the mainland. Alicia Botti is going to be performing an opera solo at their concert tonight. The engines were excited as Sir Topham Hatt drove away. The engines were the engines were very excited as Sir Topham Hatt drove away. All except for Molly. Oh dear, she said, I'm worried. Driver says there's more snow due in early tonight. I I hope I just hope I can bring the carolers in before the blizzard hits. Ha! snorted James. He didn't care. He didn't care that Molly was... Ha! snorted James proudly. I could bring the carolers in long before any freezing briz... I can... Ha! snorted James. I can bring the carolers in long before any freezing blizzard. Ed, long, be long before you ever could. Still, still trying to get your ways, eh, James? Smirked Percy. <laughs> Something's never changed, scoffed Thomas. Next thing you know, he'll be sliding. Next thing you know. <laughs> Something's never changed, scoffed Thomas. Next thing you know, he'll be skidding on the icy rails and running into some tar wagons. James gritted his teeth. He did not take kindly of, uh, he did not take kindly of being reminded of his own accident. I'd not I'd not lose your temper if I were you, little James, Gordon replied firmly. I assure you, Molly will do just fine. As she's, at least she's not conceited enough to go slipping down a steep hill on slippy rails. <laughs> or ram into snowdrifts for that, or ram into snowdrifts for that matter, added Percy. Thomas looked embarrassed. He looked over at Richard. The big green engine spoke kindly to Molly. You'll do fine, Molly, he said. If I could make it up a hill on wet rails tender first, surely you'll perform just as well with those carolers, even during a heavy blizzard. All it takes is all you've got to do is, is to conquer your fears with some confidence. Thanks, Richard. I will, promised Molly bravely. But he still felt dreadfully nervous inside. Christmas Eve arrived the following day, and everyone was now busy for the final preparations. Molly backed down onto some special green and red coaches, which made up a train called the Cowler's Train. She could see all the carolers all waiting excitedly on the platform. 
Molly began growing more excited as they started boarding the Carolus train. They were just a they were just about ready to they were just about ready to leave when a familiar voice was heard sobbing. It was Alicia Barty, who was due to perform a solo at the Carol concert. She looked she looked very upset. What's the what's the matter, Miss Bolly? asked the driver. I have lost my cat Luigi wept Miss Barty. Oh Mamma Mia He is a white with a, he is a he is a black and a white with a and as a sing a, he, Oh Mamma Mia wept wept Miss Barty. Oh Mamma Mia wept Miss Barty. I have lost my cat Luigi He is a black with he is a black and a white and has a has a beautiful singing voice of meowing he and I are do he and he and I are doing a solo duet at the concert tonight. We'll help you look. We'll help you look for her, Miss. We'll help you look for your cat," said Dowager Hack kindly, who was who, who was hosting, who was who was given the honor of hosting the ship, who was hosting the concert. We'll help you. We'll help you look for your cat. Sim, said Dowager Hat kindly, who was hosting who was hosting the concert. And perhaps he must have wandered off somewhere. He's always wandering off, Miss Body wailed. He thinks he feels the trap that they want to get out into the world where he thinks he belongs. Oh, Mamma Mia! Mamma Mia! Luigi! Just when will you ever learn? As they all went out to look for Miss Body's cat, Molly glanced nervously, nervously out outside the station. She could see some snowflakes falling from the sky, and the sun was and the sun was now setting. It would be dark soon. Oh, I hope Luigi gets here in time, she thought nervously. But by the time they did, it was very late indeed. Soon, Dowager Hat, Miss Botty, and Luigi were on board the train. The conductor blew his whistle, and then at last, the journey began. The snow was getting worse by now. The wind howled all around Molly and the Carolus train as they struggled through the countryside. But Molly pressed onward with every ounce of steam she had. Suddenly, her driver saw a terrible sight up ahead. A big snowdrift was spreading across the tracks, blocking the line ahead. Molly's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. No one was hurt. Molly had come to a sudden stop, still on the rails, but now stuck firmly in the snowbank. Oh, I knew this would happen. We can't go any further. We can't go any further, old girl, said her driver grimly. Everyone's already at the station waiting for us. There's no one to help us. Molly could Molly glanced around at the night sky. It was in it was indeed very dark now. The snow was getting the snow was getting the blizzard was getting even worse now. The blizzard was getting even worse. Yes. But she was but she had an idea. Maybe we can, maybe we can still maybe we can still get there before midnight she said let me try again if thomas could steam through a snow drift without a snow plow surely i can too it's worth a try said her fireman scratching his head we'll have to hurry though 
all the carers and the coaches are getting anxious. He soon put sand on the rails. The driver eased on the regulator and Molly slowly began to move. She pushed against the snow with all of her might. The carolers inside the coaches, coaches limped out of the windows, singing and cheering Lincoln, singing and cheering Molly on. And it was very hard work going through a snowdrift without a snowplow. But at last, Molly, Molly made it through. Made it, but at last, Molly made it through the other side of the drift and carried on down the line. And the carolers cheering from inside the coaches. There was still... There was still a long, there was still a long way to go. There was still a long way to go, though, with more snow drifts on the line. I mean, there was still a long way to go, though, with more snow drifts on the line along the way. But Molly didn't stop. She knew that the, she knew that the carolers and the mayor of Sodor depended on her now. I must do it! I must do it! I must do it! She panted, puffing as hard as ever she could against the blizzard. At last, exhausted but triumphant, Molly reached the station, but the whole yard was dark. There was no one to be seen. Molly's heart sank. She wondered if she wondered if she wondered if everyone had gone home already. Suddenly, all the lights went on, flooding all over the station. What a surprise! All the engines, all the engines were, all the engines were, all the engines were standing about the yard, wearing their Santa hats, smiling and whistling cheerfully for. Smiling, cheering, and whistling for Molly. Molly, as she steamed happily, as she steamed proudly into the station, and deeply moved at such a sight of the station, and deeply moved, moved at such a sight. Well done, Molly, cheered Percy. Just like how I could make it through a snowdrift without a plow, chuckled Thomas. Even James seemed impressed. Molly smiled happily. Molly smiled happily as she watched the carolers sing upon the stage. With Miss Botty and Luigi singing their holiday solo. Richard sm Richard sidled up alongside. I knew you could do it, Molly. He smiled proudly. Thank you, Richard. S smiled Molly even more proudly. You were right. Confidence can get you anywhere. But you, but you know, it is no fun getting stuck. Up with struggling through so many snowdrifts. But it was worth it for this party. I... I hardly have any doubt, replied Richard kindly. Merry Christmas, Molly. Merry Christmas, Richard. <laughs>